Hey everybody, this is Frank with Orange Lake Nursery, and today I'm in one of our indoor acclimation rooms. This room we really use more as like a test lab. We'll test things like different soils, different humidity levels, lengths of acclimation, um, different lights, distance the lights are away from the plants, just any pretty much any variable we can throw in. We'll test out plants long before we ever sell any individual species. Um, so we'll pull, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and pull one down. So these are a batch of Thai consolations we did on the 19th. So I'm going to set my phone down for just a second on top. You'll be able to see in maybe hopefully or not. So I'm just going to pull this down. Now these have not been uncovered even for a minute since they've been planted. I have went ahead and opened the vents. I usually do that fairly early on in this room because our humidity does stay pretty high. So let's just go through here. Um, right, initial look doesn't look too awful. I do see a few that have just basically disappeared. Um, as you can see, it does happen. So there's, there's 50 ties in a tray like this. It's a standard 1020 tray with two inch pots. So there should be 50 in there. And ideally you'd like to have 50 nice, healthy growing plants. Um, it doesn't always happen. It looks like, yeah, best I can tell, I think we lost three. So that would be six out of a hundred. So we're at a 90, what, 94%. That's still a pretty, pretty good acclimation rate. We did not use any rooting hormone. We didn't use any anything on these really. Just washed them well, planted them, covered them, and let them go. Let's see. That's the ties. That's let me go ahead and now this tray is one that I know we had issues with. So we'll look at that see if we can see what may have happened um, right off the bat I can tell you the humidity is a little lower in this tray because there's only what, 24 pots in there so the humidity will stay lower these came in in kind of rough shape these are the anthurium Worcum queens I kind of speculated these weren't going to do well which is why well, look this is what we should be looking like. That's good, putting out new growth. No yellowing. Pretty sturdy. So that one's good. Let's see. And this one's pretty good as well. Let's see, it's got a root actually growing back up out of the soil. Um, won't really hurt anything, but So there's that. Most of them, we'll leave them going for a while. Some look like they're trying to push out new growth, so we'll see. I think what probably happened with these, they weren't in the best of shape to start. We have experimented with these. We used our standard Aeroid mix that we do. It's a third cocoa, a third chunky cocoa, a third fine, and a third perlite. We took that and mixed it with a 50% portion of a standard potting mix. It had a little bit of fertilizer in it. It was a cocoa-based potting mix. Um, we did that to try to hold a little bit more moisture to see if the anthuriums would take better to that. Um, and when I say we experiment in this room, this is the kind of stuff we're, we're trying to figure out. So obviously we would not do this soil mix again and we would not recommend it to customers. But we'd rather that figure that out now and we'd rather figure that out ourselves so we could pass on good, accurate information. So we'll put the anthurium back up. And I'm actually gonna leave these uncovered. I'm gonna let them dry out a little bit, see if that helps or cause at all. Let's see. This is a mixed tray. These were all started on the 18th. So let's just see what we have going on here. Let's 
see the tags. This tray has been vented. It has not been completely uncovered. So now we have a few scraggly looking Tycons. Not bad. Ring of Fires look pretty good. These guys are super friendly to acclimate. They'll acclimate in just about any type of soil. Anthurium Queen. These were from a different batch. These were much healthier going in, starting to see new growth. Nice roots you can see already going down into our soil. Painted Ladies. And these were super popular years ago and you couldn't hardly find them anywhere. I think they've kind of ran their course. I don't know, they're still one of my favorites though. I don't know why they're so underappreciated now. They're very, <clears throat> if you're just getting started with tissue culture, that's one I definitely recommend. They're not, I mean, they're pretty affordable. They're very easy to start. So that's kind of a good one to learn on. These guys are pretty easy also. Definitely not as affordable as the Painted Lady, but they're very easy to acclimate. These are the Philodendron Whipple Way. We did lose a few in this tray. It looks like most of what we lost were Philodendron Splendids. I speculate it's probably mainly due to not washing the gel off 100% and usually usually that's your number one problem when you see it starts to look like this where you can see that just rotted out um, it looks like it might be trying to send up a little bit of new growth so we'll leave it in there and see what happens but typically when we do face problems it's because we're washing thousands of these things at a time um, so obviously we try to speed up the process as much as possible and sometimes they just don't get washed quite as well as they should. And any of that agar gel that's left on is going to cause rot. A little sneak peek at a plant that we're hoping to be able to have out and sold at a pretty reasonable price in the next few months that you don't see too terribly often. If I can find it, I don't remember what I did with it. Oh, there it is. Let's see. Sorry about that. I'm just trying to... Okay, so here is the standard. So, ones now that have always been popular, they're one of our best sellers, they're easy to acclimate, is the Joepi, or UPI. Some people pronounce it different. So that's the non-variegated regular form. It's a beautiful plant. They grow out. They get super unique leaves. Very easy to do from tissue culture. Um, but this is the variegated version. Let me get my phone to... There we go. See, it's pretty light now. But as the leaves start to harden off, it definitely becomes more visible. These are relatively available in tissue culture as of now but they're still pretty pricey for your everyday plant collector so this is one we're definitely working on trying to figure out sourcing it i mean we, we have so we're, we're going to have them in the next couple months and they'll definitely be in a super affordable price range i think there may be another mouse in a trap oh yeah <laughs> yeah 